sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya sin if this is your first time of coming across this channel sweetheart kindly smile that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you are notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all so much and i am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for all the love and support you all give me here i am truly grateful thank you all so much so today we'll be talking something very important and before we get into this video i want you to click on the link in the comment section to see something there is something i want you to say i cannot put it here because kids are involved and then when you see it, you come back and number one is that i don't know how this happened out but it is reality i mean they are teaching kids this in school and i don't know how i feel about this but this is really horrible and uh, I want parents, especially black parents, to really be very careful out there. All right, before we get into the video, let's get into the main thing. And now it is about run the signings. People are calling run the signings out. And uh, now they are looking for a way to defend what they said that uh, like slaves uh, got skills, right? Like, you know, that slavery benefited slaves, right? And someone is actually out there about to defend this. And he said it is a historical fact that slaves benefited from slavery, especially from tailoring. This was the skills they learned during the during their uh, slave. They learned tailoring. They learned agri agriculture, and they learned uh, blacksmith. Right? Blacksmith is it the one that they learned from Africa? Because most of the people they picked from Africa down to this place were all the very best. I mean, they went and they picked the very best. And if you know Africa very well, you know that blacksmith is part of Africans, like, you know, one of their occupations, something they really do not take, uh, uh, they don't take for granted. Just go back, you are going to find out. Ask. Then, with all these things going on, people are trying to defend this bullshit. And then, even white people are not even having it. Some of them actually came out to call around the shit sign is on his BS. I am rolling this clip. We'll come back to talk about it. I absolutely want to read your comments. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. And straight up, here we go. It says instruction includes how slaves develop skills, which in some instances, instances could be applied for their personal benefit. Could you just explain? Why well, you should talk to them about it. I mean, I didn't do it and I wasn't involved in it. Um, but I think, um, I think what they're doing is I think that they're probably going to show um, some of the folks that eventually parlayed, uh, you know, being a blacksmith into, into doing things later, later in life. Um, but the reality is all of that is rooted in whatever is factual. I mean, these were scholars who put that together. It was not anything that was, um, that was done politically. He says this right here. This is well documented among historians. This is historical fact that slaves did develop skills while they were enslaved and then used those skills as blacksmiths. Uh, as in agriculture, uh, tailoring, uh, in the shipping business, to then use to benefit themselves and their families once they were freed. That's not controversial. And it actually speaks to the resilience and the aptitude of the enslaved African Americans who were at the time able to better themselves and able to improve their situation, despite brutal, brutal conditions, horrific and abhorrent conditions. I want to know if it is too early in the morning to talk about Ron DeSantis and Manny Diaz for the Florida Board of Education. Because I would like to know what the benefit was for black people in America to be enslaved. Oh, they were murdered. They were massacred. They were raped repeatedly by white men. They were lynched. They had picnics of lynching where they strung up one woman, cut open her belly with her pregnant child. They were fed to alligators, the babies of black people. I want to know how that benefits black people. And as for Manny Diaz, who is a Hispanic and would never be here 
if it wasn't for the black civil rights movement because white people did not want Hispanics in America. I think they have forgotten. And this is what happens when you don't tell the truth about history. You know what is so sad about all of this? This fucker DeSantis comes from Italy, where the Italians have no problem talking about Roman history, all the shit they did, the good and the bad. And do you know what? The Italian children don't feel like they're being oppressed. It's only white American children that will feel oppressed if we tell the truth about this country. This is some sick shit. If the white man had left the friggin' Africans alone with all of the natural resources that they have in Africa, instead of stealing all of their diamonds out of South Africa, their gold and everything else, Africa would have been just fine. It's the, this white man thing, oh, they never would have been able to do anything with their natural resources. I refer you to Mansa Musa. But if I were the black Americans in Florida, there's no fucking way that my child would be learning social, social studies. Sorry. So DeSantis cannot help himself stepping in his own shit. I really and truly do not know if this man has one brain cell that he's using. There is a big difference for someone benefiting from something they want to do as opposed to being forced to do it. No part of slavery was good. It was evil, just like the Holocaust and all the genocides that happen across the world. And Ron DeSantis is an evil mother fucker. If you're easily triggered, please keep scrolling. Governor Ron DeSantis, we need to talk. Listen up, Gov. I'm a convicted felon. I don't get into politics. I stay above that mess. I just, it's not for me. I have a lot of followers on this community who would love me to tee off on you. But that's just not how I am as a man. So I'm going to talk to you man to man, Ron. I'm a former card-carrying racist. I speak the language. I know the handshake. I was at the inner circle at one point in my life. I'm not proud of that at all. I'm not going to hide from it. I'm not going to run from it. And I'll be open and transparent about it. But I'll be damned if I've evolved and grown this much as a human being trying to be better and love my fellow humans, especially my fellow Americans, to have someone like you come along and try to undo it. I know you have presidential aspirations. Everybody knows. But you're literally trying to whitewash. And your family immigrated here. You're trying to whitewash history in Florida. I don't understand it. I absolutely disagree with you on this. This is wrong, dude. You're a father. And I'm white and I'm telling you this. People aren't stupid, Ronnie. You're literally... Trying to rewrite the history books at a state level, who's going to trust you to run this country? On this single issue alone, I can't stand with you. I don't know how else to make a change my mind about you. You don't want to talk about the 1920 massacre down there where 35, between 35 and 50 black Americans were killed, only two whites. A whole community was looted, stolen from, destroyed. Innocent people were murdered because one man dared to exercise his right to vote. Why would you run from that? Why would you not teach that in schools and show how dangerous racism can be, how deadly, and that an instant it can spark and people die? They're just erased, they're gone. Why are you so scared of the lesson that we can learn and move forward from? 
What are you hiding? Most of white America doesn't know on June 1st, 1921, the Black Wall Street Massacre in Tulsa, Oklahoma, took the lives of 300 Americans. Black Americans, innocent. 40 blocks were destroyed. 10,000 people were displaced. Thousands injured. They looted their homes. They took everything from them. They wouldn't let them get their money out of their banks because they had no proof of identity. It burned in a fire. Why would you not want to talk about that? We enslave people for 250 years. Black Americans, they were property, they were owned. Do you know what they did with their babies on some plantations? They fed them to alligators. If they were the wrong gender or they didn't live up to the eye test, it was fun to them. Men, women, and children were fed to alligators, fed to dogs. I read cases where they were fed to bears for sport. They aborted babies without anesthesia. They castrated men for punishment and fun. They robbed them of every bit of identity and heritage they have. And then when they turned these enslaved black Americans free, it took them a hundred more years for federal law to even recognize them as somewhat equal. How in the hell do you think that's okay? I know you'll never sit down and have a conversation with me. I'm a nobody. And I also know you'd probably die a death by a thousand cuts because you're a politician and I'm a big history geek. I hope you get some get right there, Ron, because you might have just killed your career. Have a great day. Hey, Ron. Listen, um, I realize that you're going to continuously double down on the narrative that you're trying to peddle down there uh, in order to prove to your electorate that there's no racism, that there's no white supremacy, that there's no p inherent power structures that have been built into the United States foundational structure in order to elevate some and take advantage of others. I realize you've actually shifted the entire educational curriculum so it doesn't talk about minority struggles at all. The LGBT community, out. African-American studies, out. You don't want anybody within your state learning the cold hard facts and truth and disgusting truth of your state in the United States of America. Okay, listen. Kids can still find stuff, right? At the end of the day, your kids in that state, they're going to go outside of Florida to get educated. You know what they're going to come to, Ron? Me. They're going to log on to my TikTok and go, I'm going to look that up. So you can try to control kind of the narrative all you want. But you've now taken it one step further. And you've assigned your educational department, this educational department of academics you apparently trust at this point. You, you have the only collection of academics that are politically um, non-aligned, that are unbiased, that are purely objective. Meanwhile, you've taken the last two years and condemned every academic institution for being woke and too intelligent let's be honest you just don't like how smart they are do you Ron? and now you've allowed this group of people to do what to create a curriculum you are going to enforce upon your citizenry that says to young kids listen slavery wasn't all that bad kids are you insane are the people of florida insane there's only so much I can abide, Ron, and I can't abide anything you've ever done. This is insane. This is disgusting. But Floridians, I don't care who you are. I don't care who you vote for. How dare you stand for it? How dare you allow anybody to perpetrate and to spread such incredible, disgusting bigotry, hatred, and misinformation? How dare you? What I need you to be able to do is shut this down now. Slavery has no benefit. It gives no leverage. It doesn't help anybody at all. It tears families apart. It is violent. It is oppressive. And it is disgusting. And if you don't stand against it, you stand with him. Cut it out, Florida. Pull it together and get him out. So... Excuse me. This is all I got from this video and I love the fact that people are speaking up But then I am going to say this, you know If you are a black person, if you are a black person and you live in Florida And you allow your child to uh, go to school and learn this 
and probably when the child comes back you want to teach the child uh, another thing or something i want you to know that you are also part of the problem there is nothing like my if i were to be the, uh, my child would not go to school in florida rather homeschool there is no two ways about it so i am telling you with all this fight and everything they are with awareness everybody is trying to create if you are a black person and you allow your child to go to school and learn this in school you are part of black community's problem i'm sorry to say that but that is a real fact all right and um now let's get into the uh where uh, uh ronda sani said that black community uh sorry the slaves learn blacksmith right now let me make this point straight and forward and i want you all to know that the people they took from africa like when they came to do their stupid thing they were not they were they actually came and took the best right they were not idle like they were not like they had something doing they had hand work some were already tellers some were already farmers because I heard him saying agriculture, a blacksmith, and the rest of it. No, all these things were the skills they already had. When they were in Africa, they had something doing. Some were blacksmith, because if you know very well, you know that in Africa, blacksmith is something that back in the day, it is something that uh, it is very common for black people. So for telling me that, that it was when they came when they became slaves that they learned blacksmith right it's a no no it's a lie it's a lie from the pit of hell the people they came here to that they came to africa to pick were kings and queens they were people that were doing amazingly great they were great people they were like sons great sons and daughters i mean the best out of the best were the people they picked they took they stole from Africa and move them back then. So for telling me that they saw this, uh, they they learned these skills and uh, and uh, uh, and that slavery was uh, beneficial for but like benefited the slaves is a lie from the pit of hell. This is not a lie. Somebody can be caught lying. You should not. You should not be telling this kind of lies. On a serious note. Because I don't see how they benefited. It was a slavery was a very dangerous thing. People that even after slavery, it took them another hundred years to be recognized, to even have human rights, to be seen as humans. And somebody is telling me otherwise. I mean, who really want to listen to this? Who really want to buy to this? I mean, how can somebody sit down? And defend this bullshit because it's bull crap. If you are a man, I don't care if you are black or white, and you want to defend this, you are evil, you are part of black people's problem. If you want to defend this, and if you want to say that this thing is true or something, you are part of the problem. They never benefited from everything. Even with all the trauma they went through and still going through to this very day, somebody want to come out to lie against your ancestors. I mean, where is you guys' humanity? Because I don't see it. Somebody really needs to call these people back to order. They are out of order. And it's very dangerous because their kids are going to consume this. You know, how do you wake up to tell people that slavery was not as bad as they say? Like, how do you want to defend this? Is it not part of your history? Why do you want to hide this part? Why are you hiding this part of history that is obvious? Man, <coughs> I am really... This is where I'm going to draw the card. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.